to create this design you need to add a cylinder then scale down this cylinder along the z-axis then apply the scale and then go to the edit mode select top and bottom faces and use the insert operation then select these edges in the alternate manner and then control b add bevel on them now select these top faces in the alternate way and then extrude them along the z-axis now same way select these bottom faces and extrude them along the z-axis then select everything and take the symmetry along the x-axis then select these top faces and delete them select these bottom faces and delete them now select these top words and snap 3d cursor to it and then set the origin to 3d cursor then take the symmetry along the z-axis then add the array modifier and give the factor along the z-axis and increase the array count now delete the array modifier select these top faces and use the insert operation and delete these faces then select these edge loops and right click bridge edge loop select these edge loops and scale them and then right click bridge edge loop then take the symmetry along the z-axis select this top part and delete it now select one third of the model and delete it now go to the select and select sharp edges now select this kind of connected edges to those sharp edges and then control b add bevel on them add two segment bevel and shape factor should be one then hit the control 2 to add the subd modifier so you can get this kind of smooth form now use the knife tool and create cut like this in this way so we can create proper loop structure then dissolve these edges create cuts and then dissolve these edges like this repeat these steps for all then add more loop cuts like this then select these edge loops and control x to dissolve them we are trying to create loop structure around these details and to reduce the loop cut count after that use the knife tool and create cuts like this and then select these edges and control x to dissolve them so we can get a loop structure around that detail add center loop cut and select these words and merge them at the center in this way same thing add here also add loop cuts and create cuts or connect the words with the j and then select these edges and control x to dissolve them then select these words and merge them at the center and dissolve edges it's pretty simple repeat this step so here I have repeated this step with all and I'm getting this kind of topology. Now here select these words and merge them at the center and dissolve these edges in this way. Select words and merge them at the center and dissolve the edges. Repeat the same steps with all. Then turn on the matcap view. Select everything and mesh symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the x and y axis. And then select the symmetry along the z axis. Now add an array modifier and give the factor along the z-axis. Make sure your array modifier should be top of your sub-d modifier. And then increase the array count. Apply the array modifier. Then use the merge by distance. Now turn on the extra mode. Select the stop faces and delete them. And then select this edge loop. Snap 3D cursor to it. Now select these words change the transform pivot point to 3d cursor and scale them along the z-axis then increase the selection and press m merge by distance now select this edge loop and face grid fill so you can fill the gap then select these edges and control x to dissolve them reduce the edge loop count at here like this select this edge loop face and grid fill then select these edges and control x to dissolve them I have repeated same steps for all. Now select the center loop cut, snap 3D cursor to it and change the origin to 3D cursor and then select everything may symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the z-axis and there you go. In this way you can get this kind of design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. So next video take care.